Hi, we've just had a request from somebody who's having difficulty exporting um, a video clip coded in NVivo as a HTML file. And this was a non-embedded clip. So I just want to run through a demo of it. We thought we'd stick it up as a tutorial anyway because it's a common enough task. So um, we're going to start off here with a source, which is a, a non-embedded video. If you look in the properties of the video, you'll see that the video is on my eDrive. It's not connected to the machine. Uh, it's not the, the local drive, it's on an external drive and it's imported into Vivo and pointed as a non-embedded file at that folder. I'm going to switch over to my nodes and I'm going to create a new node which I'm going to call test. And I'm going to take a segment from the timeline and this is crucial that I'm, co I'm coding from here using the select start and finish selection or just dragging the segment that I want and I drag that into the node to code it. I'm now ready to export my node. And if I right click on that, export the node, I'm going to choose the HTML option and I'm going to put it on my desktop. So I say OK to that and the video has now been exported. I now have two files on my desktop. I have a HTML file called test, the name of the node, and a corresponding folder also called test. I'm going to open up the HTML file. I'm going to open it up with Internet Explorer because it simply works better with this technology, with uh, exported videos and with vivo than my standard uh, default web browser, which is Google, Google Chrome. When I open the file in Internet Explorer, I see a little dialog box down the box at the bottom that's asking me, do I want to allow blocked content? I'm going to allow the blocked content and I'm going to click on the video clip here to see the video. And you can see that the video is now displaying and indeed I can play it. After a quick conversation, she's disappeared out the back. If I go back to my desktop and I open the folder associated with the HTML file. There's a subfolder there called one and there's my video clip that I've just exported as, a, as an exported segment. It's like a, a, a video editor. It has exported the clip that I've coded successfully. One final caveat. Had I coded from here, whether it was synchronized or not with the transcript, the video would not be exported. The text would and I would see that in the browser, but not the video.